Ever since combat achievements came out, the concept of what makes a good PvP member has become more solidified as Jagex has given us official ranks by completing various boss related challenges. Grandmaster is the highest rank a player can get, but what are the hardest Grandmaster tasks out there? Some tasks are just a lot easier than the others in the Grandmaster section. There will never be a consensus, but there are definite few tasks I would argue are strong contenders. The hardest Grandmaster task will be from the hardest challenges, content wise, between Chambers, Theater of Blood, Nightmare, and the Inferno. Time tasks are usually the tasks that are considered the hardest challenges, so which of these four content pieces have the hardest time challenges? I will look at it from a time spent perspective to achieve those tasks to argue which is the hardest. All of the time challenges from Chambers of Xerix are over 2 minute plus for the world record times. For example, solo challenge mode task is 38 minutes, even though the world record time is under 30 minutes. Inferno is over 10 minutes from the world record time. All of the theater blood times are a solid 2 minutes or more from the world record times. Wasani Nightmare Grandmaster speed task, however, is actually less than a minute. The world record is slightly over 6 minutes. And Jagex is asking us to complete this Grandmaster task in under 7 minutes. So less than a minute between the world record time and what we have to do. That is right. Wasani Nightmare from a time spent perspective has the most difficult speed time making it arguably the hardest task of all time. This 7 minute task requires near perfect gameplay, but most importantly, impeccable RNG. Out of all the Grandmaster ranked players I've talked to, getting the 7 minute Fosani time task was by far the most time consuming for them. Due to the fact that it is very RNG dependent. Whereas all the other speed tasks from other bosses with the right skill and experience, it can be done in just a few tries. That is the biggest difference. Oh, 400 KC. I genuinely thought the Fosani speed task would probably end up being the last task I would do for Grandmasters because of the abnormally insane RNG needed. The most ideal way to do this task would be to reset if the first phase was slow to save time. But I don't want to reset because I also need drops from this boss, the Harm Orb, the Pet, and the Egg. Every few resets would mean I lose a drop chance since I could have used that time to kill the boss. So I had to find a compromise. The compromise was I would time the start of each kill and if the first phase was fast I would start using my Sang and my Scythe to go for sub 7 as they are my best DPS weapons. But if it is slow I would use the Trident and Maze to save blood runes and go for the drop. Fosani has 5 phases and I have to do the first 4 phases in about a minute and 42 seconds each. And that means the last phase I would ideally want to finish it in about 12 seconds which is 3 hits. Sweet. Okay, let me find the parasite. Die bitch. If you are going to use the Scythe of Nightmare, it's actually nice to have a mace with you or something along that effect that's faster attack speed because when the boss, let's say it's 20 HP, you don't really want to use the scythe for that 20 HP. It's better to mace it because it's most likely going to kill it anyways and you save a tick that you can use to hit the pillars next. Whoa, these hits are so good right now. What the hell? Husk can be super annoying for speedrunning, but under the right circumstances, you can actually save a little bit of time. For example, let's say you only have to deal with one sleepwalker or two coming up, and you are in the middle of the mage phase for the pillars. If you are near the middle, you can actually maybe just kill one of them and ignore one or two of them and just go straight for the pillars and then kill them when the pillars are done. I can do this. Dude, this could be a sub 7. Another easy way to save some time is to hit the last pillar and being next to it because the damage will count faster towards the transition. Oh my god, 630, 630! There are ways to save time on sleepwalkers by killing them faster using certain weapons, but it's a bit too complicated to try to explain, so I'm not going to try. But yes, I do bring a rune halber for the last sleepwalker of every transition. 615! Let's go, let's go! Oh, actually, sub 7. 
I just sub seven. Dude, I just sub seven. I'm pretty sure. Oh, seven minutes. <laughs> We're done, boys. Let's go, dude. Yay, I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Fosani Nightmare is done, boys. Let's go. Holy shit. Damn, that was, that was crazy. Literally came down to the wire. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Ah, there it is. Fosani Nightmare. Everything's done. And I'm so glad we managed to do it without needing a harm orb. Oh, yay, now we can just grind this boss normally again. Hey, yo, guys, if you are looking for more content, more content within, let's say, let's go five days. Get this video to 2,000 likes. If it happens, I will deliver. Promise. I got so much content, guys, for y'all. Whoa, the perfect 3x5 right there. Wow. Ultra deadly, but also very gorgeous. Very uh, perfectly, beautifully deadly. We're going to work on Zora and Vorkath next, because they are not Slayer Task ones. So we're going to work on Zora. Lots of uh, interesting ones. Using Vengeance to kill the boss. Kill three snakelings simultaneously. I think Chins will do the job here. Uh, and also, there's a few speed runs here. Uh, down to 54 seconds and there's a perfect Zora. So I think I'm going to go for these ones first. Kill the three snakelings and uh, kill the boss using Vengeance. Please, Chins, kill them all. Yes, there we go. We got that one done. Okay, come on. That should do it. Uh, Because I got lucky on the snakelings, I think. Hey, that was easy. <laughs> never mind. I was just thinking like, oh. Maybe I need to think about how to do the perfect Zora, but never mind. We just, uh, we just got it done. Yes! Nice. Okay, snake rebounds done. Alright, I don't know what the time is, but it could be close. 59 seconds. God damn it, man. If you real if you're really into like super cheesy romance with some uh, you know I'm not gonna lie some pretty solid animation then yeah sure but uh, I am a pretty heavy oh my god this is insane 200 HP this is actually insane oh my god I'm hitting like insane right now guys holy shit okay okay okay. Holy shit, I got it. 100%, this is sub 54. 50 seconds, let's go. Ah, nice, only took about around two hours, but we did it. Damn, son, first phase, 200 HP. Uh, yes, ah, there we go. I'm gonna try to do all the Vorkath combat diaries. Let's see what the hardest one is. I think the hardest one's probably this. Getting it in under 54 seconds. I've done it before. Uh, 50 seconds is my PB, I think. So, so there's this task called dodging the dragon, where you gotta kill this boss five times, but you cannot take any damage from the poison pools on the ground or any of the special attack damage. And that's actually quite challenging because every kill you're pretty much guaranteed to get an acid phase, and there's a high chance that you'll accidentally step on one. So I had to find some strats to deal with that. There's probably easier ways to do this task, but I chose melee. And the strategy was I would count down to make sure I know poison was coming. And then I would start in the corner. So when the poison sprays, I go to the third row away from the boss. And then I start slowly one square walking. And once I find an open path where I can do my melee run, Without taking poison, that's where I go. And I do that five times in a row for five kills. And we managed to do it after a few tries. Oh, we did it. I think that's five kills without getting... Uh... Yeah, nice. I got the strat down, boys. That was sick. 
All right. Uh, is this enough for a 10 kill trip? Yeah, I think this is. All right, I'm going to try this out. Blood Fairy just in case. Don't think I need it, but I have some Bruiser backup. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I hope I have enough. I also have two Faldor shield recharges. Yes. Okay, one more kill. 102 HP. Um, two Dose Brew and a Blood Fairy. This is it. 10 kill Vorkat trip right here, boys. Here's the money. Here's the money. Extended encounter. It's a master task, really? I ended up spending a lot more time than I should have at the 54 second Vorkat task just because I've done it before in the past, so maybe I could mess around with some strategies that are not necessarily meta, like ACB spec doubling Ruby Bolts. Not really worth using a spec for that, of course, but, you know, it'd be nice to actually get the PB using such a weird weapon for this. But, uh, yeah, we ended up getting a ton of, like, 55s and 56s, probably at least 10 times before I actually got the sub-54. <laughs> but that's when I started using the more proper meta strats. Oh my goodness, here we go. I don't mind taking that damage. Here's another one. This one's looking much better. Much better. Much better. Okay. Oh my god, if I don't get this one, I'm gonna be pissed. If I don't get this one, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my god, that was freaking fast, dude. 44 seconds. Let's freaking go, boys. 55 into a 44. Suck it. Suck it, dude. Thank you, Claws. Thank you, Lance. You finally proved yourself to be worthy. All right, here we go. That was nice. That was nice, boys. 44. <laughs> God damn, bro. We fucking popped. I didn't even have to use my Darax. <laughs> nice, nice. Now we can do the chill stuff. Okay, I shouldn't say that because every time I say this Grandmaster task looks pretty chill, it ends up taking like five times longer. Oh, sick. This is good. Here we go. Alright, that's definitely gonna kill it. Right there. You're so dead. Like, don't even... Don't even try. Don't even think about it, man. Hold on. Unless it says it fails. Like, psych, you thought we we uh, we didn't see it coming? Oh, I did it. <laughs> okay, this task is actually such a joke. I'm telling you, man. Some of these Grandmaster tasks is disproportionately way easier than uh than some of these other ones, though. So. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for the final Grandmaster for Vorkath, we're going to go nice and chill here. We saved the best for last, which is to punch Vorkath to death. So I brought quite a bit of food, hoping this is going to be enough. Wait, come on. Yo, that was actually really good. Damn, we did it, boys. The Freemnik way using only Karen Bonds. <laughs> using only Karen Bonds, man. Although, you know, the Ellie flicking was uh, pretty OP. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, we did it. We ah, we are done. Perfect. Uh, there's not too much to do, I guess. Just just some wildy stuff that perfect timing because of Demon Mode. You know, we can sneak there. Oh, what? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We got the AVNC task. Holy shit, I haven't gotten that all, all of this week and last week. So I much prefer to complete all the tasks from one set of content first, but sometimes I can't do that. For example, this God Wars task for Armadale, half of those tasks I have to do it in a private instance, and the only way to access the private instance is to complete the hard section of combat achievements. So that means I have to go to some assortment of bosses variety to do their hard task so I can just get that done and then I can finish off Armadale. So now is a good time to complete all the hard tasks. I have some in God Wars for each of the four bosses and of course some wilderness stuff so we're gonna have to do some wilderness bosses for the hard tasks as well. So that's gonna be the goal starting now. And the last one is please come on unique item come on. Oh left eye patch dude. Oh those are so common dude. I've got like seven of those. I gotta upgrade this freaking POH now. Never had to do it before. It's uh, it's for the costumes. I'm just doing the random events now, finally, just cause like it's super easy to store them now. 
since you don't need the full set and all, so I'm actually just gonna just do all these random events again and just get all these costumes in here. Because why not, you know? <laughs> Pretty easy to do, so.